from Rook High School, WTRF proudly presents Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall. Tonight's guest. Tonight we are joined by a special guest, the governor of the great state of West by God, Virginia, <laughs> Governor Earl Ray Tomlin. Thank you so much for coming in, well, sir. Thanks for having me. Appreciate uh, it so appreciate much. It. Governor, you are running for re-election in November of 2012 for our viewers at home who, who don't know that. And I was curious, how much of your campaign strategy, your governing strategies will be stifled if the Mayans correctly predicted the end of the world? You know, predictions come and go every day. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, yeah, I've been hearing that since I was a kid. If you're yeah. not good, the end of the world's coming. So, <laughs> but, so That's a harsh judgment. Yeah, yeah it, it is. So, uh, you know, as governor of this state, I got to continue to look out for the best uh, for West Virginia, continue to do my job. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it, don't, if it does happen, not much we can do about it. We never know about it anyway. That's right. So, the best governor of all time. Right. So we don't, we don't ever know. <laughs> governor, as you hit the campaign trail, you have to see a group of people that I can only define as apathetic voters. These people who are like, why should I vote? Why should I care? Politicians are nothing but crooks, liars, cheaters. Why should I even vote? Tell us why you were not that way and why we should vote for you in 2012. What we're doing is being responsible, running the state of West Virginia like you would your own household budget, and uh, you don't spend more than you take in. And that's been my philosophy, and it's really uh, paying off worse now. Our bond rating is the highest it's been in nearly 40 years in West Virginia. We're creating great investments and uh, uh, numerous new jobs, several thousand jobs in the last year. So, yeah, that's what I think the people want. They're concerned about their jobs, about their future, about being able to support their family. And West Virginia is a great place, as we all know, to, oh, yeah. to live, work, and play. And, and that's what we need to continue to, to toot our own horn out there. The reason people should vote, and people should not be complaining if they do not go vote. This is a right that they have, and, and, and to choose who their leaders are in this state and in, in this country. And, and shame on those people who do not take, the, take advantage of a, a right that they have by going out and voting. And Governor, as I've talked to students and voters alike, a lot of people don't seem to realize that you are the governor. A lot of them still think it's Joe Manchin. Well, what do you do, do to get yourself out there, get your, your face out there, I guess? And is that even a crucial thing for, for your candidacy? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, since the time that I assumed the governorship, uh, became acting governor in November of uh, 2010, you know, there's, there's a lot. Of, I mean, I've served my constituents in, in the Iowa Senatorial District for 30-some years. Yeah. They do me very well. I get 90% of the votes there. But the thing of it is, you know, around the state in, in the past 17 months, we've been out a lot, just like today. We're, you know, back in the northern panhandle as we were yesterday. Yeah. So we go from, uh, you know, from one part of the state to the other. And I think it's important for a governor to do that, to hear and see what's going on in the various regions of our state. Governor, we actually have a student question from senior here at Brook High School, Tina Ayure. And Tina says this. So what do you do on a daily basis as governor of West Virginia? And that is an interesting question. What do you do on a daily basis, Governor? Tito, which day? Because <laughs> every day is different. Yeah. And, 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 Sunday's and, the day of rest. Uh, or, well, yeah. not always. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of activities going on on the weekend yeah. also. But uh, the, the day is, uh, it's really filled from, from the time you get up in the morning until you get in bed at night. And uh, today we will uh, be doing not only uh, touring schools here, we got some museums we're going to be seeing. Uh, uh, I'll be giving a distinguished West Virginian uh, uh, to a, a, a gentleman later today who's contributed a great deal to the state. Uh, so, I mean, they're just, you know, on a constant basis, you're having meetings dealing with economic development, job creation, uh, you know, just a, a whole array of things that you deal with as governor on a daily basis. Yeah, and uh, people don't realize that but, because they don't see it. You have to walk a mile in someone's shoes before True. you, you Absolutely. see it, which is really great. Okay. Now, Governor, I'm not sure who I'm going to vote for yet. I'm still up in the air. But if you answer this next question correctly, it'll go a long way in getting me to vote for you come November. And that question is, can you sing all the words to Take Me Home, Country Roads by John Denver? Uh, I, I can uh, say all the words. I'm not a very good singer. <laughs> well, that's the most important thing. Any governor of West Virginia has to be Absolutely. able to at least know that song, and especially a hey, WVU graduate. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, at least be able to hum it. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Again, my guest today has been the Honorable Governor Earl Ray Tomlin. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. I and you can it. learn more information about him, your reelection campaign, yep. and the texting and driving campaign. Uh, the where, where can you visit at? Yeah, EarlRayTomlin.com. EarlRayTomlin.com. And for Ohio Valley Tonight, this has been Nathan Marshall. <laughs>